Adamu Gaba Talba has alleged that the Federal Republic of China is ripping off President Muhammad Buhari's government. On Friday, the former elected senator for the Yube South constituency of Yube State, Nigeria, alleged that the Federal Republic of China is ripping off President Muhammadu Buhari's government. Adamu Gaba Talba made this claim on his official Facebook page. The Nigerian lawmaker took to his official Facebook page to air his view about the current state of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. According to a post he shared online, while publishing the post, Adamu Gaba Talba alleged that China is ripping off Nigeria's markets in Kano, Lagos, Anabra, Kaduna, and Abia states, alleging that China is ripping off the country's government and the future of its citizens. He said, China is ripping off Nigeria. China is ripping off our markets in Kano, in Lagos, in Onicha, Kaduna, and in Abia. China is ripping off our government, off and our future. In Nigeria, we need a strong China policy to save our jobs. Follow me. Given reasons for his claim, Adamu Gaba Talba said that Nigeria needs a three-pronged foreign policy approach, just like the Western policy, including Russia, the Middle Eastern policy, and China policy. Adding that, the Federal Republic of Nigeria needs a presidential tax force on emerging superpower politics. He said, referencing to my last post on China, we need a three-pronged foreign policy approach. 1. The Western policy, including Russia. 2. Middle Eastern policy. And 3. China policy. Having a presidential tax force on emerging superpower politics won't be a bad idea. Speaking further, Adamu Gaba Talba said, China is an emerging superpower, but they should not rise by marching down on our businesses and our jobs. I think that President Muhammad Buhari's government needs a common parade ground with China. Adamu Gaba Talba also added that the Federal Republic of Nigeria needs to have a frontier China management and containment strategy. Else, the future of the country, its labor and capital, including life and livelihood, will be threatened. He said, There is no doubt that China is an emerging superpower, but they should not rise by marching down on our businesses and jobs. We need a common parade ground with China. Bottom line, we need to have a frontier China management and containment strategy. Hence, the future of our land, labor and capital, including life and livelihood, will be threatened. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this present situation of things? We have heard what has been said by Adamu Gaba saying that China is ripping off Buhari's government. Adamu Gaba alleged that the Federal Republic of China is ripping off President Muhammadu Buhari's government. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this present situation of things? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section according to a post he shared online. Adamu Gaba Talba alleged that China is ripping off President Muhammad Buhari's government. While he was publishing the post, Adam Gaba alleged that China is ripping off Nigerian markets in Kano, in Lagos, in Anambra, Kaduna, and Abia states, alleging that China is ripping off the country's government and the future of its citizens. 
What is your own reaction to this? What is your own point of view concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria? We would like you to drop your thoughts in reaction, you know, via the comment section. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Michael Adoke reacted to this and said, How many times would you say this? What is your thought about what Michael Adoke have said? That how many times is he going to say this? Obviously, he has said this even time without number. It has been said so many times that the China government is ripping off Buhari's government. China is really ripping off Buhari's government and the future of its citizen. And according to what has been said by Michael, how many times do you have to repeat this? What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this? Do you think it's high time the Nigerian government needs to wake up from their slumber and be up to the task? Because it is really getting out of hands. This must not continue like this. Well, let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is about this. Peter Umba have also reacted to this present situation and said, Tribalism has blindfolded so many of us that even when we see the truth, as long as it's not from their tribe, that truth becomes lie. What this young man is saying is true. Go to all this market you see today, Chinese has taken over, killing many businesses with their prices. This is not supposed to be so. What is your thought about what Peter Umba have said? What is your reaction to this? We have heard Peter saying that tribalism has blindfolded so many of us that even when we see the truth, as long as it's not from our tribe or from the tribe we believe in, the truth becomes lie. So, what this young man have said is just the bitter truth. When you go to all these markets, you see today, Chinese has taken over, killing many businesses with their prices, and this is not supposed to be so. What is your own thought and reaction to this present situation? What is your own reaction to this? We have earlier heard from Michael saying that how many times would we have to say this? Honestly, if it has been said once and the situation persists, we will continue to repeat it until the government of Nigeria do something about this because how are we going to continue to watch the Chinese government you know, taking over, killing our businesses with their prices, which is not supposed to be? Are we going to sit and watch? Do you think it's high time the government of Nigeria needs to start defending their citizens? Because that was the reason why they were elected to be the leader, so that they will be representing the masses even at higher places. But obviously the government of Nigeria has failed the Nigerian citizens, woefully, of which this has been said several times. We are looking forward to see a positive improvement in this government. But do you think with the way things are going on, there could be any positive improvement anytime soon? We would like you to drop your thoughts on this. Don't forget that Adam Gabba earlier said that China is ripping.